Guys, hello. You okay? I don't need anyone walking me home. Hey, we were talking about meeting up tonight anyway. Where were we? Walk Sarah to her apartment. You with me or not? I guess. And you can quit worrying about what he's gonna think. I'm not the point, Tom. He treats me like a kid sometimes. Hey, I get it. He's protective. He's seen things. We've all seen things. You know, we gotta talk about you stealing food. Hey, I cook it, so I get to say where it goes. Ollie won't thank you. Well, maybe tomorrow's finally gonna be the day he fixes his own breakfast. It was freaking tough, Transistor. Freaking tough. Two times I was very, very close. Could you knock on the door? Only got so many hands. And here. I got it. Finally. But two times I was really close. Sarah! That for me? Yeah, though it's not as much as last time. It's enough. Nona thinks you're an angel. The Dawn hates seeing food go to waste. And this? This has got to be Tammy. Sarah told us all about you. That right. You're a famous race driver, Tom. Everyone talks about you. Yeah, she's right. They do. Well, anyways, don't let the cold in, Juliet. I'll see you at church. All right. Have a great evening. Night. Buena noche, Tommy. It's nice you do that. That? Well, a lot of hungry people on this block. Yeah. Well, it's, uh, it's a good night for a walk anyway. What are we doing now? Don't get yourself killed on my account, Tom. No, oh, I try to avoid it. That's all you got? You spend all this time with a lady killer like Sam Trapani, and the best line you got is good night for a walk anyways? <laughs> well, it is, ain't it? Yeah, I guess so. Flowers for the lady, signore? Nah, we're well, good. The second attempt now stuttering like also flowers? fucked me up. When you let me take you on a real date and not some walk home for Luigi. Then you get the flowers. Eh, that could happen. If Pop's not gonna stop me seeing one of you, I think he knows anyway. Luigi? Nah. These guys have been creeps to me for weeks. But I didn't tell you as I know what you like. I mentioned it to Dad this one time, and all of a sudden he gets you to be my knight in shining armor. So yeah, he knows. Huh. Well, like I say, means there's no problem with me. If he did, you wouldn't last long. I know what happened to all the other guys I dated. I helped hide the bodies. Yeah. So now we are. I've been trying to keep you safe, Tommy Angelo. All this time. Let's go someplace. Tomorrow night, maybe. The pictures, maybe. You can get your flowers. That'd and be the good. pictures. Oh! Hey there, darling! Are you stepping out on us? Piss off. <laughs> Don't cast the kitten, doll face. We'll let your boyfriend watch. What do you say? We going to have trouble here. Trouble started back when you tried to steal our girl, Chief. You saps aren't careful. You'll end up in wooden overcoats. <laughs> Last chance to walk away. We ain't frails. We know who you work for. Salieri might have been the big six when he was younger. But he's all washed up now. Mm. It's only a matter of time before Morello punches his ticket. I don't need Salieri. Or anyone else. Not for this. <laughs> well... <laughs> then let's see what you got, Cake Eater. Mm. Where are you going there, sweet cheeks? Back off! <laughs> Wait, 
What was the strike? I forgot. You, was it? I'll give you that. You're bleeding. Come up to my place. I'll take a look. Well, you gonna come in and take a load off, or what? I'm wondering when you'd invite me up. The bank's closed, Slugger. I'm just gonna patch you up is all. Now go sit down on the couch, roll up your sleeve. I'm getting my sewing kit. Doesn't look too bad. You need something for the pain? I know, I'm fine. You don't have to do that. What? I can see it fucking hurts, Tom. You wanna pretend it don't go ask Polly to staple you up. What do you get? Compliments of the Don. <laughs> Take another. <sighs> All right. You gonna grin and bear this? Yeah, I'll be okay. Good. I don't need the little old lady next door complaining at the super about all the racket. Just be quick about it, will ya? Well, it's gonna take as long as it takes. The sloppier the stitch, the uglier the scar. They're right. You stitched up a lot of fellas. Just my father. And I would really go after Luigi sometimes. He got pretty good at ducking dinner plates. So, one day, she stabbed him with her knitting needle. Right through the hand. What for? Because... she was an ugly... jealous drunk. There. Not my best work, but... it'll hold. The scar will be something to remember you by, if nothing else. <laughs> You're staying over. Can't have you stumbling through the neighborhood pie-eyed. Not when them hoods are out looking for you anyways. Yeah, okay. You got an extra blanket or something? 
No. And it heats out. Yes, I'll go. That was the first chapter. This can't stand. Sarah's okay, boss. I took care of it. She started working here before she could see over the bar. I don't have a daughter of my own, Tom. I'd do anything for Luigi's little girl. So would I. We all would. That's right, boss. Anything for Luigi and Sarah. Do those bastards think this is fucking Luna Park or something? I'll rip them apart with my own hands. Our business is protection. But who's gonna pay up when they learn we can't even protect one of our own as she walks home from work? So what do you want us to do? Teach these boys a lesson. Break every bone in their bodies. Put them in wheelchairs. Bust their faces up so bad, even their mothers can't look at them without screaming. We know where they're holed up. My friend on the force says we should start looking into Chinatown. Then Big Biff will know something. Tommy. Go to Vinny, get us some gear. Meet me at Biff's place. Yeah, okay. Leave these punks laying in the street. I want everyone to know we do not allow mad dogs to run wild in our neighborhood. You got it, boss. Some of these sons of bitches could still be on our turf. I'll check the neighborhood. Make sure they're gone while you see Biff. Good hunt. Yeah, same. Okay, so when you're done with Vinny, come find me in Chinatown. Sure. Let's go bust some heads. Let's see if there is anything to look here. Nothing, no newspapers, nothing at all. All right, let's go to Vinny's. Hey, here for some heaters, Tom. Nah, I'm already going and healed. This is oh, the best man. mafia game. Gotta by give far. a beating to some punks who've been on our turf. I don't want to pull this and piss in our own street. There's something to bust heads. That's all we need. It always was. Sam turned over some guy's warehouse and uh. Autographed by Babe Ruth himself, the guy said. <laughs> by Babe Ruth himself. They bust heads. Your punks won't have time for questions. Not at all. Thanks, Vinny. These are relaxing games, you know. You play them to relax. If we exclude the driving part that I played yesterday, there's nothing relaxing in that. Chinatown, yeah. That's close by. Man, for such an old game, even though it's a remaster. Yes. Nice weather, sunny weather, evening, dusk, rain, night. You have fucking everything, you know.
Jesus. Ain't nothing out. About time. Come on, it went through. Why Biff moved into this dump, I'll never know. Give him a break. He's in love. Ah, uh, he got yellow fever that time we boosted the Shanghai skin flicks. Well, I like her anyways. Problem with you, Tom, you always soft with the things. A lot of detail for such an old thing. Really a lot of detail everywhere. Biff, you fat bastard. How you doing? Chut Mao, Lu Chin, they tell all they see. Don't they send some sorry or get him by such a light? Starface, great to see ya. Call her off, Biff. We got business. Upstairs, please. Move on the fight time. So, what's the beef? Need some information. Got some jokers causing trouble. They mess with Luigi's daughter. Plenty of hoods around. You got any more? One of them's a weasel named Billy. Pals with a prissy chump and a bruiser with a bald head. Right, right, I know them. They're set up in the old service station in a block over. They hock some gear every now and then, in small time. <laughs> That's why I need to come to you, Biff. You're good with small time. Out the back, cross the street. You'll find them there. Thanks. See you around. Hey, Paulie. Uh, about that dough? Relax, just waiting for my guy to come through. It'll be next week. Just sit tight. What was that back there? You and Biff got something going on. Guy I know is bringing in a shipment of suits. Classy ones, Mexican. You getting suits from Mexico? No, idiot. The suits are boosted from a lockup downtown. The tailor is from Mexico. Originally, anyways, he lives in Holbrook. Did Don know about this? Yeah, yeah, I'll get his cut. You just keep this under your hat. I guess I heard nothing. You gonna know these punks when you see them? Yeah. No, I guess if I don't, all we gotta do is find the other guys in Chinatown who look like we do. Gangsters monthly compass. Big break to back. Here's how we do this. I walk in and start beating people. You do the same. No shooters. You take long thinking that one up. Nah, this plane gets used a lot. I think we gotta go in through the side. Nicest ass I've ever seen in my life. Yo, <laughs> yo. Oh, oh, Billy, it's the guy from the other night. We gotta go. <laughs> come get him! Get Found him! Hey, come on! I keep pressing my mouse instead of Q to hit them because of his controls. Whatever. I even disarmed him. I like that a lot. So, but it's actually have oh, weight when you drop the down. Don't let him get Billy. Get your ass behind something. You're gonna die here. You know that? Get your ass behind. It ain't serious. You think I need telling? I go north. You go south. I go up. You go through there. <laughs> 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 
Who motherfuckers you fucking one shot? They don't know. That's the first shooting part in the game, by the way, if we exclude that tutorial area. I took some beating. Was low on health also. Iggy, hello. Fuck it, remembers on that HP. That's all I got. It ain't easy to aim. At all. It's very hard to aim this. shit again. It's a short game, I can allow things like this. Why the fuck that? When I like it, I wanna see it again. Healing somewhere. But he lost health at the beginning with a baseball bat. Zessel survived this. And it checks sensitivity. I can't shoot like this. It's fucking impossible. Now we can roll. Clear path to 
it's a bit better now with this sensitivity. So there's something to loot. Oh. Finally. Can. Just me and you. What the fuck is this? I can't shake him off. He's reloaded. Chase with this. It's a cigar. So brandy. That's what happens when I look at the other screen. That's all of them. Go careful, Tom. The road's a river. Don't worry, I got this. Man, it's it's disgusting to drive during train. There is no control over a vehicle. Get the fuck out! This is to fucking freak out. Fucking freak out. No, 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 wait. Please, please, I don't want to fucking die, man. Christ, Tom. You can't feel sorry for these animals. A guy like this would plug you if you give him the chance. You gotta pull the trigger without thinking. Come out. This one's finished too. Hmm. 
<sighs> oh. oh, Christ, Tom. Snap out of it. You remember what those guys wanted to do to Sarah? Yeah. Just, uh... Hey. Let's get out of here before the bulls show up, huh? Very short chapters. If we exclude the driving part. Huh. I don't know how many tries that it took last night. A lot. Simple shit. For sure, like two or three hours. I can't afford this life no more. Just getting lucky. I'll give you a chance to win your money back. You want in, boss? We have business to discuss, Polly. We're in it now, boys. One of our associates at the coroner's office sent this over. Corpse's name is Giolotti. You recognize him? Sure. That's one of the punks we ran out of the neighborhood. Now we got the bullet in the back of his head? Yeah. We capped him. Well, the cops ought to thank us. We did him a favor. The guy was a rapist, boss. Yeah? Well, he was also a city councilor's son. Nah. You want to drive a politician into Morella's arms? There's no better way than killing off his family. Oh, Christ. It gets worse. You left another guy in the wreck? Yeah, but he was dead when we got there. You gonna tell me he was the president's nephew or something? <laughs> Two in the head, Paulie. If you're gonna do a job, do it right. He survived. Did. Yes. He spent the week in St. Mary's, but he pulled through. <sighs> Can he point a finger at either of you? I don't know. Maybe. Okay. Look. We're gonna kill two birds with one blast. Galati's funeral's today at St. Michael's. Sam, you're gonna attend. Sit in the back and try to spot the lucky bastard. How will I recognize him? He'll be the one who just crawled away from a car wreck. His arm is broken. Look for a sling. Sam's gonna need a little distraction if he's gonna clean up your mess. You sending Tommy to dip his wick? It's a brothel? A gentleman's club, just down the street from St. Michael's. Madonna's invested a lot of money in it over the years. So, me and Sam. Regardless, the owner has suddenly decided to do business with Morello instead of us. You want me to go remind him of his obligations? Yes. Then blow the place up. What? Morello wants to take businesses away from us, he'll inherit craters. Look, Tom, we can send Paulie and Sam since all the ladies know them already. They'd never make it through the front door. But you can walk right in. Okay. What about the manager? Take care of him wherever you find him. If any of the horse see it, well, it'll be a warning. Once he's out of the way, head to his office on the top floor. Grab any documents and money you find there, and place the explosives. Vincenzo will see that you have what you need. And you think the blast will be big enough to give me cover? Yeah. But be smart. Only take a shot if you know you won't get me. Tommy, one more thing. One of the girls is passing Morello information about our operations. Before you blow the place, you'll need to take care of her, too. You want Tommy to kill a twist? Come on, Frank. It's just bad luck this falls to town. But we gotta protect the family. Her name is Michelle. She's usually working one of the upper rooms. Her photo is in the folder. You boys clear on everything? Yeah. Tom. I got it, boss. Then get it done. Well, uh, basically, it is a move. Let's go. Go see Vinny. I'll meet you here. Counselor's son is slain. Gilotti. William Billy Gilotti.
hear they're burying the Galati kid today? Yeah. They better bury him deep. Why? The guys we rub out started getting back up. That's why. You lose your card game? Something like that. All right, let's begin. You in the market for something that goes boom. Give those girls a squeeze from Uncle Vin, huh? Not today, Vinny. Yet. Gotta hear me out on this. It's about the girl. Michelle? Right. You don't have to rub her out. Just make her disappear. You know her? Yeah. I've been with her a few times. She's a good egg, Tom. Just maybe not so bright. She doesn't deserve to get plugged just because she likes listening to me talk. You think she'll leave town? When she understands what'll happen otherwise, yeah, she'll leave. Here's a hundred. Give it to her. And make sure she gets far away. Okay, sir. I'll see what I can do. That's all I'm asking. Let's go. Imagine getting far away with a hundred bucks. <laughs> Here's a hundred. Have a good life. What would it be today? Here's one million. Have a good life. That was the last time we were going to talk about her. Ever. I told you what I had to ask, and you listened. Gotta leave it there. Okay. No, not 100k. 100 dollars. Keep think. your head when you get into the hotel. Find your mark and This is access age spaces. of prohibition. The manager thinks he's untouchable. You can probably walk right up to him. Anything else I should know? Nah. Just don't take all day. Bloody died young, so there can't be much to say about him. The bomb goes off. I'll do my thing. Got it. Police are on to us. Reports of a speeding driver. Out of everything in this game, I, I think I hate police parts the most. What kind of world is it that when you screw up, you get sent to a cat house? Well, I have to clean up your mess at a funeral. You see the justice in that? I see a job I gotta do. Such a professional. Just try to finish the job this time, huh? How long does this shit last? Come on. He's gone. Go back to patrols. We'll get him next time. This is a good car. Very good car. Man, I need to drive like a retard when I see a police. Your step. I'll give the family your condolences. Good luck. You too. Mm. Hi from Behringer. Look him in the eyes. 
Only two stations. That was like five miles per hour. Come on. They should just delete the cops from the game. For free drive. Get a fuck out. Corleone Hotel. <laughs> you behave yourself in here, okay? Hey, handsome. You here for a girl? Drinks or a mix of the two? A girl. And I got some business with your manager, too. A girl? I can help you with. Come through. Find the girl you like, and you can both get better acquainted upstairs. There's no rush, so get a drink, relax, and enjoy hey, yourself. good afternoon, sir. Come through when you're ready. I need to talk to the manager. Yeah, head straight through to the lounge. You're with our uh, new business partners, I assume. I need to speak to Michelle. The only girls available are the girls you can see. Find one you like and don't make a fuss. Find Michelle. Why don't you buy me a drink? Because you're not the dame I'm after. You know Michelle? I'm new here, baby. I don't know a thing. We can just talk if you don't want anything else. We can do whatever you want. What's a handsome man like you doing in a place like this? Looking for a girl named Michelle. She's busy upstairs, but I'm free. Upstairs, eh? Come on, honey. Well, I can tell you're nervous, but I can step you through what we gotta do. Hey, I'm looking for Michelle. You know her? Yeah, she's the popular one. Book yourself in with a guy at reception. You gotta get in line for Michelle. Know a girl named Michelle. Hey, the only girls I know are the ones behind you, sir. Hmm. And the only ones available. Your friends arrived half hour ago. Friendship between the Corleone Hotel and the Morello family will be long and fruitful. That's a manager. But we need Michelle. Are you with the Morello party, sir? If you want a girl, head back to the bar. They'll come over and uh, keep you entertained. Who's these new guys getting the run of the place? And a manager having to play nice with his new friends. How come? That's when your new friends turn up with Tommy guns? Still hurting from the That's what night. you do. Is this hotel? Downtown seventeen oh two. I can't come in. Johnny's sick. 
He don't care. He wants you here. I need to take him to a doctor. Is he dying? No, I don't think. Then it don't matter. You need to come in. Leave him with the lady next door if you need to. I can't do that. You're his best girl, and he says he wants you here to entertain the new guys he's getting protection from. It don't matter how sick your kid is. You gotta come in and work. Listen, you want to go back to the rest of the girls on the corner of Six and Maple? Then be my guest. You told me what it was like. Fur coat and flashing the cars look when there's snow at your feet and you can't feel your legs for the wind and cold. I'm doing you a favor. Your kid will get better. But you're working on the street again, I'll see him worse. Leave him with your neighbor. Get here quick and pray to God he don't notice you late. I'll cover for you, but I can only do it for so long. I'll leave it to you. Bye. <clears throat> Michelle Aru, 208 all day, 208. Hotel. Leo Galant. You treat women like this? You treat your mother oh, like six. this? No, please! Huh. Don't like when it's doled out to you, do you? Yeah. I just popped out and killed that guy. I'm sorry, I didn't mean it. What have I just done? Hotel. Michelle, I don't know. I don't know. It was 106 and 8 floor up for 208. How's this? Too bad you can't break in there. Uh, 
Go where I please, and I please where I go. What's this? There are probably tons of collectibles if you explore in every room. I don't care that much about collectibles, to be honest. 208, that's Michelle's room. Well, it's 207. Fella named Sam is one of your regulars. Maybe there's a lot of guys named Sam. You know him. Works for Don Celieri. Maybe you got him talking about our business from time to time, and maybe Don Morello offered you some money to spill what you heard. No, Sam, trust me. I, I don't say nothing. He knows that. But Don's losing a lot of money because someone <laughs> can't keep their mouth shut. I was just bumping guns with some of Morello's girls. I didn't mean nothing by it. So I'm sorry. I know. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. You're scared then. Good. Don't you ever forget how it feels to be this scared. To know you're just one twitch away from a hole in the ground. Because if you ever show your face in this town again, they're going to find you with two in a head. Do you understand? Lucky for you, Sam's got a big heart. Get dressed and make tracks. This place is gonna blow soon. Thank you. Just don't come back and we're square. Office at the top floor for the manager. Now we go to the top floor. How do we reach top floor? The elevator. We can't go on foot. Out of service with elevator. How the fuck do I reach the top floor then? I will be shit. How? It says top floor and it, on the map it shows you down. party sir how am I supposed to kill him huh? 
I guess it's intended to go with shooting. I wanted to sneak around, but there is no way to kill a manager without shooting. Freaking low, this is bad. Just bad. I can't lose health down there. Don't even know where they all spawned from. It was empty. That's my checkpoint. That's my checkpoint.
how it's opened. Oh, here. Coming for you. Come on! Holy shit! Stutter, stutter. Stop. Ooh, what is that? A Tommy gun. Those are concrete plants. Nothing passes through these plants. The Tommy gun. Ah. Para. Now they have shotgun. Okay. I'm all for it. Too bad only for ammo. Does regular shotgun ammo count for that? Fucking hell it counts. Better than that Tommy gun. I dropped a pistol. Some healing would be great.
Blow the hotel up, eh? I get the fuck out. I'm supposed to run with this HP. Come on. No, no, it didn't look this good. It looks way much better now. I just can run over here with this HP, this is bullshit. We'll try to shoot him up. Come on, don't get stuck. Uh, where the fuck to? Give me full HP, god damn it. He's up here with us. Gotcha. There, on the roof with us. Blood nuke, man. Well, if. Man, I'm low non-stop, this is idiotic! Get him! 
What will I do without ammo? Fuck. Where's your gun? Yes. Come on. It ain't done. can find redemption in death. Now, William, he was a sinner, yes, but he was also a loving son, a protective brother, and a loyal friend. And for those virtues, we pray that his soul will find salvation. And now, I believe, one of Billy's closest and dearest friends would like to say a few words. Thank you, Father. I, uh, I just wanted to pay my respects. Billy, I never said this, but I consider you my brother. I can't even count all the times you saved my ass from a beat. So I don't know how I'm good. What are you doing? Wait, that's the guy. That's the guy who killed Billy. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Dear God. Please, and this is what was really involved in. Get over here now. going out of cover, I can't stay in a cover, every time I move he auto removes the cover. I can't even shoot from here. Sure. 
Alan Hitman. Remaining to cover. What the fuck are you doing? He's dead. Down there. Over here. I get covered. No. You could have stopped all this days ago. Okay, I'll still got. Of God. These men were criminals, Father. Thieves. Rapists. Killers. And God would have embraced them if they'd asked for forgiveness. Now, which one of these men might have sought redemption by working with the poor? Which one might have saved just one life? None of us, Father. You bastard. You have any confessions? How many times will he survive? No more bloodshed, please! 
I'm sorry, Father. <sighs> Consider this an act of divine retribution. That make us even. Sure. For now. For your trouble, Father. I don't want your blood money. You took theirs. Not a lot of difference from where I'm standing. That should be enough dough to patch up the bullet holes and keep you quiet. When the cops come, you tell them the gunman who did this had East Coast accents. Must have been from out of town, right? I won't lie. But I won't say anything at all. Good. Be a shame if we had to come back here. Where the hell were you? As soon as I walked into church, the crew recognized me. Followed me straight back out. Where are they now? The same place as all these guys. Come on, we gotta go. Will you get in a car? Idiot! Today, you're gonna die! We're dead. He fucking got stuck running around in corners, you know? And we're supposed to escape. Where the hell were you? As soon as I walked into church, the crew recognized me. Followed me straight back out. Where are they now? The same place as all these guys. Health is a big problem. If I was, for example, on full health here, this would not happen. Where the hell were you? As soon as I walked they in, the church, kill those cops. Recognized me. Followed me straight back out. Where are they now? The same place as all these guys. Come on. Get him! Form a perimeter around the church, boys. Don't let him out. Don't it? We can run, find another, sure. Here we go. Don't mess with me. There's way too many cops, and on top of all of it, I wasn't covered. I don't know how to do this with a small amount of HP. They're just straight bullshit. As soon as I walked into church, the crew recognized me. Followed me straight back out. Where are they now? The same place as all these guys. Come on, we gotta go. Form a perimeter around the church, boys. Don't let him out. In the hurt. Molotov. Are you kidding? It's got wheels, don't it? We can run find What's that? What the fuck they're shooting me through solid wall? <sighs> sure. Where the hell were you? As soon as I walked into church, the crew recognized me. Followed me straight back out. Where are they now? The same place as all these guys.
if I survive this shit now. I barely got away this time. <laughs> Look at the escape vehicle. Just drive. We'll end up in the back. We got him. Officers report they're closing in. Whatever you did at the cat house got the cops plenty pissed. Yeah, it was messy, but I got everything done. Everything? Yeah. Everything. They're gonna spot me. It's my fault. Whatever. They given up yet? I don't think so. They must have called out every cop in the city. No! The crew recognized me. No! Straight back out. Where are they now? The same place as all these guys. Come on, we gotta go. Fucking idiotic mission! The entire mission is idiotic! I'm supposed to sit here and pray not to get shot when I enter the car. As soon as I walked in the church, the crew recognized me. They followed me straight back out. Where are they now? The same place as all these guys. Come on. Get him! Get him! Jesus Christ! I can't even peek. I'm insta dead when I peek. It's like they have fucking snipers. Come on! Well, today didn't turn out like I expected. Just drive. This didn't get up in the back. Yeah, it was messy. 
but I got everything done. Everything? Yeah. Everything. We got it this yet, man! If I don't lose the map kill, I'll never lose them. <laughs> Son of a bitch! <laughs> I was not faster than with this car. Nah, the car is dead. <laughs> ah, shit! <laughs> I'll fucking break you up! <laughs> Yuri, how are you? Yuri, how are you? Yo, this fucking mission. I don't know what's worse. Where the hell were you? As soon as I walked into church, the crew recognized me. Followed me straight back out. Where are they now? The same place as all these guys. Come on. There he is! Form a perimeter around the church, boys. Are you kidding? It's got wheels, don't it? We can run find another shirt. But we got company everywhere. They took a hit. Hey, mad fucker, what needs to happen for this to work? It's so fucking random. Where the hell were you? As soon as I walked into church, the crew recognized me. Followed me straight back out. Where are they now? The same place as all these guys. Come on, we gotta go. Got him! Pull the car! Form a perimeter around the church, boys. Don't let him out. In the hearse, let's go! Are you kidding? It's got wheels, don't you? What are you doing inside? Holy shit, there's a healing here. Sam! Sam! Idiot! Today! Today!
Well, today didn't turn out like I expected. Just drive. We'll end up in the back. Got the cops plenty pissed. Yeah, it was messy, but I got everything done. Everything? Yeah. Everything. They given up yet? I don't think so. They must have called out every cop in the city. Were you? As soon as I walked in the church, the crew recognized me. straight back Gang's out. Where are they now? Get your the same paper place here. as all these guys. Come on. We got you. Go. Expected. Just drive. Yeah, we'll end up in the back. <laughs> Whatever you did at the cat house got the cops plenty pissed. Dear guy, to this little Italy. Yeah, it was messy, but I got everything done. Everything? Yeah. Everything. They given up yet? I don't think so. They must have called out every cop in the city. At least that was nice. Just drive safe now. 
because of police and everything else that can go along your way. I don't want to replay that fucking mission again. Thanks again, Sam, for helping me out back there. I thought my time was up. It's not anything you wouldn't do for me. I know, but when you come that close to biting it, Christ, it's something. Don't need to tell me about that. Just don't think about it. Best lesson I could ever teach you. Don't think about anything. Very, very hard chapter, but still it was ten times easier than driving yesterday, you know. I need a coffee. Be right back. Very fast. Just to get one coffee.
All right. Let's roll. Intermezzo. I used to drink Intermezzo's coffee. You can fit into ago. a shootout in a Every church. Day. And I ain't even through the hard stuff yet. You know, I could take you in right now, put your bowling bars, and tell you old and gray. Maybe. If you think you can make any of it stick. But then you'd never know about Murillo. Hey, fellas. Sorry to keep you waiting. My shift just started. What you having? Two lunch specials, please. And more coffee. You know what? Let's bring the whole pot. All right, we've come this far together. What kind of heat did you get from the church? It's a strange thing. Nothing really came of it all. Always figured Celieri paid off someone somewhere because it wasn't even in the papers. We just had to lay low for seven, eight months. The cops kept showing up at the bar just to remind us they were watching. And Frank caught wind that Morello was helping Galati get reelected, hoping he'd go after the Don. I recovered some account books from Rella's offices. 33 was a pretty good year for him. Bastard knew we were bleeding out before we did. While we were busy keeping our heads down, he started moving in on our rackets. Quiet at first, a few trucks go missing. Uh, top burner has one too many highballs, drives off a bridge. One of our regular pickups suddenly closes up shop, moves upstate. And he didn't catch on? Not me. I think maybe Polly smelled something. But even with the cops looking over our shoulders and Morello circling, we were still making good money. And with the Dom worried about keeping the heat off, we didn't have much to do, except drink, have a few laughs. Every time I went into Celieri's, there was Sarah. So it was a good year. Until Frank. A Coletti, a Don's consigliere. Yeah, that's right. He set me straight. He set us all straight. There's a lot of buzz around town about you guys. Yeah, we got into a little scrap last night. It's no big deal. I don't care about the bar fight, Tom. I care how it looks when you walk into a club and buy everyone around. Uh, we gotta do something with her, though. Then blow it at the track on Sunday. Or take a dame to a show. Or invest it, for Christ's sake. <laughs> you want me to become one of those Wall Street boys? <laughs> don't sass me, Tommy. I'm trying to teach you the ropes, so you don't get strangled by them. You ever have a dog, Tom? Sure. A little mutt when I was a kid. When I was eight or nine, before I came over from the Sicily, I had this beautiful, skinny Cerneco de Letna. Like a little greyhound. Fastest dog you've ever seen. That's how I met the Don. We started setting up races together. Betting on her with coins and rifle shells. There wasn't another dog that could catch her. She never lost. Until the day she did. We were only out of pocket knife, but... I never saw the Don so angry. She got old on you? No. Pregnant. She went into heat, got out of the yard. And every dog in town had a turn. You're like that dog, Tommy. Every time you flash your money around, you're a bitch in heat. And everyone in that club is now looking to fuck you. And once you get fucked, you're no good to us. Do you understand? Uh, you made your point. Good. Because you need to think about your career here. Look, Paulie's at his ceiling. He's the guy we want in a tussle, but he's not smart enough to run anything. Sam is loyal, but he has no vision. But you, Tommy... ...you could run this town someday. Well... I appreciate that, Frank. So... Uh, ...what happened to the dog? The Don tried to drown her. I broke his nose. You can let me off here.
Give Sarah my best, Tommy. You're in 33 now. Back then, everything went through Frank. The plans, the orders, the money. You could get the call day or night. Ah, Tommy. Frank says to wait for him in the garage out in the back, eh? You got the job, I think. Thanks, Luigi. Sarah's cooking. She's bringing something over. In this rain? <laughs> She's a good girl. I'll see you tomorrow, Luigi. What do we got here first? That's the exit, yeah. Yeah, sure. Back in the day, when the boss was still with that phone, we got called out to a hit. Some uh, politician on the take. And these storms just raging, right? and we're driving out to the burbs to cap this guy. The street lights weren't so good, so we're driving in the dark. We get to the house, and we're about to make our move. And then there's this lightning flash, and for a split second in the front yard, I see this head just sitting there, staring, cut off at the neck. Nah, this ain't true. Some other crew had already been out to the house that night. Yes, the guy had more than his share of enemies. They never found the body. Bullshit. God's truth. Thanks for waiting, Tom. The Don and I had to go over last month's numbers again. Sure. So what's the job? I want you to help Sam and Polly with the shipment we've got coming in tonight. The good stuff? Straight from Canada. Where do you need me? Sam's going to meet our friends from the north at a farm outside of town. Polly will oversee the trucks bringing the shipment into the city, but I want you to go with him. Be an extra pair of eyes. Make sure it all goes smoothly. Okay. Get the car from Ralphie to meet Paulie at the warehouse. He's got heaters in case you run into any trouble. Sure, Frank. No problem. Good. Now bring the Canadian home safe, Tommy. There is already a case earmarked for the Don. This mama motor is yours if you want it, Tommy. Thanks, Ralph. Working late, Ralphie? I says to sleep when F -F Frank sleeps. Man, he's been w working us hard. Morello's taking bites out of business everywhere else, Ralph. Booze records where we shine. We gotta stay ahead someplace. Ah, uh, well, I, I just f -f -f fixed the cars that time. I, I changed the p -p plates again. C you can't be too careful. I'll see you in the morning. Okay. Is there anything to loot around here? What's that? Me and Mom. If this is storm, don't blow through. I think I'm just gonna, gonna sleep here tonight. Let's go to Vicenza first, see if we can enter.
shotgun. And more. Now I can go. Uh, what's this? Super science. Day of the comet. Salieri's warehouse. Now it's raining again. Ten times harder to drive you, right? 